What is going on, everyone? Today, I'm going to be discussing stuff that Spirit actually told me on Twitter. So, if you haven't already, go ask Spirit Halloween your opening dates for your local stores. Now, these are the five stores inside my radius of 10 miles. And Spirit told me four out of the five. I didn't ask about my number four location, which is the Edgar Road near Planet of Wine in Linden, New Jersey location, because I have never been to that one before, and I don't really plan on, since it is kind of far from me. I don't know why they even have it on my 10-mile radius thing. I believe it's about th a half hour, maybe even more away from me. However, I asked about the other four stores, um, my location one, two, three, and five, and it's very exciting because Spur Halloween told me all four of these locations locations, opening dates, and like I said, I did not ask about my number four location in Lindsay, New Jersey's opening date. However, I think I may just have to ask. Although, it is a little bit too far for me, so I'm not going to even bother, but maybe I'll ask just for the hell of it. However, anyway, so my number one location in Tyson's Park Shopping Center, now this was my location back in 2014, and in 2015, aka last year, it was a Halloween city. Fairly big store, it isn't too big and it isn't too small, it has fairly high ceilings and it's a very wide store. It is, it is next to Stop and Shop, so it's inside of like a big facility, which is why, and most of the stores in that facility are meant to be big, so it is a really big store, and it, I mean, it isn't like huge size, like it isn't... 30 foot high ceilings and 100 foot across, but it's a still, it's still a pretty big store, and it was a nice size store in 2014 as well, so I hope that they could fit everything for 2016, because if they could fit three themes in 2014, why can't they fit all of the two themes in 2016, although the themes are really big, but I hope they can work it out some way, I know they won't be able to fit the whole entire clock tower, go check out my Spur Halloween 2014 walkthroughs, I have two videos of those, you can check out either one, I suggest the number two one, because back in 2014, my camera skills weren't as good as they were now, when it comes to filming, although I did get around everything. The ceiling's there about 15 feet high, but apparently the clock tower is three stories, I hear, so that's humongous, so I doubt that my store, my most local store, my number one location, will be able to fit it all. I know they'll be able to, I know they can match fitting the whole entire hotel, though, and every prop inside the ho, and, and every prop inside each theme. Now, this next one in a Forest Avenue, this is a former Walgreens store, and this is a new location, which was not there last year. Last year, it was in a very small store, and it was a costume-only store, too. Now, this store is about 15 minutes away from me, so I guess you could say it's like my second local store, because it's still in my township, and it is like... A pretty big store, but it's store on Google Maps. It's a very big store. And I didn't know that Walgreens closed, because I passed it multiple times in my lifespan. And it is a pretty big store. It's next to a CVS, which is another huge store for a CVS. A huge CVS, I should say. And the Walgreens, most Walgreens are known to be big. And this is no exception, because it is a very big store. Maybe even bigger than my number one location. Now, Spirit told me that he, they have no set opening date for it yet. But they said it'll be sometime in September. So I'm assuming maybe it won't be late later than my, um, maybe later than like the second or third week of September, and my first location is set to open in the first week of September that Spirit told me, so it is still a little bit from now, and that pissed me off a bit, because at first they told me that my first location was opening in the middle of this month, so it is quite a big of a difference to say middle of this month, four days later, say beginning of September, makes no sense, but whatever. Now, this next store, my number three location that Spirit told me about, this store is apparently scheduled to open already on a scheduled opening date of August 25th. And I could see that because it already has its phone number up. Out of every other location on my 10 mile radius, it has its phone number up. Now, this is a store that I visited last year. You can look it up on my channel, Spirit Halloween 2015 First Trip. This is a store in Brooklyn. It is a small store. It's not a big store at all. However, it still managed to fit some stuff. And it was, it was a small store and it would, Definitely isn't my favorite location, but I still went there. I got Smoldering Zombie at this store last year. It was my favorite prop of 2015, so I'm glad I did that. And it was a nice store, but it wasn't that big. And apparently now Spur Halloween's telling me that this will be... It looks like that this will be actually my first store to open in my 10-mile radius. So I don't know if I'll be visiting the store again, but I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe not. 
And like I said, the number four location I did not even bring up to Spirit since it is a little over a half hour away from me. So it really is no point. Because here's the thing. My number five location is around the same area. However, it's a shorter ride. And you basically just pass this Spirit going to the Lindsay, New Jersey one. And this is another Spirit that I visited in 2015, which is in the Cross Point Town Square in Woodbridge, New Jersey. And Spirit told me that that store is opening around the same time as my Brooklyn store. So I'm assuming like that week of, so maybe next week it'll be open this store. And yes, I will be going to it because this is definitely one of my favorite locations. If you look at my Spirit Halloween 2015 second trip, humongous store, and you'll even see why I say and over-exaggerate that's a humongous store, because it is a humongous store. I don't know what it used to belong to, but it looks like that it belonged to some sort of good store. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they moved over Home Goods, and this store is the former Home Goods spot, and they moved over Home Goods 1, because that's what I think I heard about. But it is definitely an awesome store, and it's definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite location. So I'm definitely going to be hitting up this location, and it seems like it'll probably be one of the first of my locations in the 10-mile radius that open. Because Spirit told me sometime in the end of August, so that should be that should be maybe in the in a week, maximum two weeks. So I'm very excited. And when I go to the store, I'm mostly going to pick up a prop. And like, I'm not just going to go drive 20 minutes just to not pick up a prop. However, I'm very excited, and I'm very excited for all these stores to open. Please let me know if Spur answers your questions. If you do have a Twitter, go follow them on Twitter and ask and DM them or just tweet to them. When is your store open? Like, just say, hey, do you guys know blank blank zip code or state or city or whatever when this store is opening and they'll respond to you. They are very liable when it comes to reliable when it comes to um responding to answers about store locations. They're not that liable to answering about other questions, but they are very, very reliable when it does come to answering store questions. So go ask them today about your local Spur Halloween stores. Is this just pumped up my excitement more and more? And once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.